What up traders, what up investors, we're going to be looking at the magical house of Disney, uh, the Walt Disney Company, which is ticker symbol DIS. Uh, they are actually report on Tuesday after the close. So looking forth on a lot of data going out on potentially with the overall pandemic, uh, it's 14 theme parks are basically shut down or not making any money furloughing so many individual people um, this is a huge percentage of a lot of their shares on top of <sighs> the sad thing is the cruise lines they're not basically operational their streaming service that's going to be a huge indicator on the growth here where i think analysts are saying 40 million plus uh and then we're looking at again the stage shows are all closed uh the, again the theme parks are closed completely empty uh looking here at disney world uh again stores are closed due to the pandemic the cable networks so again i don't know if you guys knew they also own espn and of course as everyone knows the nba mlb and then the fear of the nfl may not be starting on time or with different restrictions and so forth so a lot of these things are going to be very popular uh, a lot of blockbuster movies coming out for the summer um or are they going to be postponed? Are they going to put it on uh, Disney Plus and so forth? So looking at those kind of volatilities uh, for the ongoing quarter. Uh, we're going to be jumping into the chart here in a second. Uh, move this over. So I think everyone who joined the live stream last night, greatly appreciate it. Love it. Um, we had a really great time. We had a lot of great questions. We did some great uh, uh, data analysis. All right. So looking at disney uh what the earnings are going to be they're saying for the week uh the options market so how you look at this is you t look at the options chain you look for the friday uh weeklies and then the market makers are saying a plus or minus move of seven dollars and fifty cents so seven dollars and fifty cents from the current price at 105 so that could be anywhere from to 112 uh that could be all the way down to 98 um I have kind of some guidelines here that are a little bit wider than the expected move due to the fact of this being the very first time that uh, Disney has had uh, to make a really strange uh, economic impact news due again to basically majority of its stuff shut down my uh, nicks the uh, live streaming services on Disney Plus. Um, again, it is May 4th today. They just released the new uh, the Star Wars movie on Disney Plus, so definitely check that out. I'll be watching that later tonight as well. Um, get your Star Wars on for sure. And let's look at some more little technical analysis here on what could happen, what could go up, what could go down. So as you kind of see here, it never really broke above 50% retracement uh, from the swing high to swing low, and it did not link again. I'm having a painstaking time with this so it didn't really break its 50 percent retracement that kind of comes in at the 89 plus the 50 percent retracement so if it breaks and it continues above 116 um that is a very positive sign um looking at the current market it's going to be look like it's going to open um down to 101 um, which is again lower than the 200 or the 21 exponential moving average uh that being said, if it closes below the 21, that is kind of a, uh, not a bearish sentiment, just kind of indicating for a potential lower prices in the short-term trend. Um, looking here at a weekly chart, um, you can kind of see here, this kind of sums up a lot of things. It's trading below the 200 exponential moving average on the weekly side. That's why I have that 113.58. It really needs to break that to continue going higher uh, and just continue to push. Um, the momentum is kind of uh, trying to turn up here a little bit, uh, going somewhat positive. RSI is trying to climb. The only indicator that I'm really kind of lagging here is the check and money flow for Disney. Uh, we need to see more people buying in. I think once this quarter uh, uh, goes through, so po uh, post the earnings announcement, uh, whatever it is, it could be up, down, left, right, sideways. Again, we do not have a crystal ball here. Um, we just want to uh, give what the market gives us and then work with that. Um, it's trying to kind of push out of its own way, um, but due to the overall markets uh, being kind of uh, uh, slightly down, look so in the futures market, again, we're just looking at 9 o'clock here on Monday morning. 
um, looking at basically futures down nearly 0.7 percent they're trying to climb higher um, again with the overall market going lower of course it's going to drag uh, majority stocks anything from Disney Amazon and things like that will most likely go down with the overall market um, I think also as well with the overall downturn um, trying to open up at like 101 to 102 uh, on the quarter this could be uh, some short-term support here I don't want it to break a hundred um, if it does break a hundred that could go substantially lower um, but again this is a huge sit on your hands and wait if you are waiting for a swing higher so if it gets down if you're not in the stock at all um, what should you do if it gets down to 100 you can maybe add a quarter position so for example if you wanted to have a thousand dollars of Disney just add two three four shares uh, 25 percent of the initial investment um, and then if it goes lower to 90 or 85 you can add more to it again that's if you're longer term if you're trading options that's gonna be a little bit more difficult not usually a fan on trading options into earnings um, oh, I mean for earnings I can trade them into earnings but not for earnings um, this is most likely indicating uh, going lower for the next day uh, potentially for a reversal once it hits around maybe a hundred if it gets to that level for a quick little bounce um, but again we want it to close above the 21 um, for the long term or I mean the short term intraday uh, setup to remain intact and then for the weekly side we want it to again kind of have the parabolic SAR so that's these little uh, purple dots here we want these to switch. Uh, so what happens by switching means so so they're printing above the uh, I'll give you a little zoom in here. So they're printing above all the ticks, meaning more downward momentum. Um, but once it switches, meaning it goes from the top to the bottom, like you can see here, it was bottom, 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 and then top on top of it, trying to break above the 21 or the 200. This could be a nice momentum push higher for Disney um, to go long. Um, so this is going to kind of have to be kind of sit on your hands and wait. It's going to be a lot of people are going to be looking at this for a lot of huge moves and indicators due to the fact of this hasn't this is a very strange time for Disney to have basically a lot of the revenue streams uh, on halt uh, and just not being able to uh, give guidance and so forth. Or we want to see what they give on guidance. Um, and see on how things play out again I own the Disney stock uh, so that being said uh, we're gonna be trading around this uh, also going forth if you want to join the discord server I want to have a link down below so you're able to join that chat um, we're gonna talk about different trading ideas sharing ideas uh, talk to other traders and investors and just have a really uh, grand old time there again guys thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content again this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!